DuckDB version 0.8 saw the introduction of the pivot function. And in this video, we're going to see what we can do with it. We'll be using data from Jeff Sackman's tennis data set. So let's get to it. So first thing we're going to do is set up a view that finds matches won by players that have been ranked in the top 10 in the last three years. And once that's created, we're going to write a query that gives us back 10 records from that view. And so you can see what we get is we get a player, we got a country, we got the surface, we got the match year, the round, and the number of matches that they've won. Now, the first query that we're going to write is a pivot query. Uh, so we're going to pivot on the match year. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to bring all the unique years that we see in that match year column. Um, and they're going to come up and have an individual column themselves. And then we're going to sum the number of matches and then we'll get, say, 10 records. And you see it comes back and you can see we've got 20, 21, 20, 20, 2022 and 2023 along the top and then the players and the number of wins that they've got for each of for each type of round uh, on each surface. So you can see it's mostly two or one. By default, uh, you'll notice that all the other non pivot columns are included in the group by, but we can specify the group by explicitly. And so if we do that, we can say, hey, I'm going to group by the player in the country and we'll also remove the limit since there are now uh, many fewer rows to work with. And if we run that query, you can see the results come back. And this time we've got just the player and the country and the number of wins that they've got in 2020, 2021, 2022 and 2023. So, for example, what Taylor Fritz got six wins, six, eight and one. We can also apply a filter when we're choosing our pivot column. So when we're doing the on match year, we can say, I want that on match year, but in 2022 and 2023, and then we'll leave the rest of the query the same. And it comes back and it's just a, a slightly, yeah, like a, a narrower version of what we saw before. So we've got rid of 2020 and 2021. We can also use other SQL constructs. So like, uh, for example, we could order by, so we could say, I'm going to order the results by 2022 descending. So I show me who won the most matches in 2022 and say, give, give, just show me 10. Uh, the top 10. And this time we can see Nadal, Alcaraz, Sinner and Rude were the ones who won the most matches in that year. You notice at the bottom and at the top there were a couple of nulls uh, which we can fix by using the coalesce function. One cool feature that DuckDB has is that you can start your query with a from. So we can say from, paste in our pivot query in there and then we can do a select replace and we're going to use the coalesce function on the 2022 column and what we're going to say is if, if there is a value put the value otherwise zero and we'll do the same for 2023 as well and you look when we get the results we've got a zero for Carlos Alcaraz because he, he hasn't played so he hasn't won any matches and this is, excludes the French Open that's going on this week and then Berrettini down in at the bottom as well. We can also pivot on multiple columns while filtering on each of them individually and the pivot columns will then be combined in the result. So in this one, we're saying, hey, I want to pivot on the surface, but only when the surface is in clay and hard and then match year 2021 and 2022. And we'll, we I will then uh, put in, uh, replace any uh, nulls with the zero. So we're going to say uh, coalesce um, clay 2021 uh, and put a zero in clay 2022, same thing hard 2021 and hard 2022. And if we run the query now, you kind of can, can guess what those columns are going to look like. So you see we've got the, we've pivoted, we've um, grouped by the country this time. So it's the wins by country. And then we've got clay 2021, clay 2022, and then hard for those two years as well. We can even join the results of two different pivots as long as we've used the same group by expression. So again, let's start, we'll do a from, we'll do a pivot on the surface and then we'll group it by the country and then we'll join it to another one again. We're gonna pivot on, uh, we're gonna pivot on a different thing this time. So we'll pivot on the match here and again, make sure we group by the country. And then finally, we'll say we're gonna be using the country. And you can see we get back like a quite a cool table. So you see the country, then the wins on clay, grass and hard. And then next to that, the wins on tw in 2020, 2021, 2022 and 2023. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about new DuckDB features, you'll like this other video that I did about user-defined functions. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.